later videos for figure loading issues on the STB emulator app. Uh, so it can be due to multiple factors in, involved in this issue, the buffering and loading issue. Uh, it can be due to the server load, it can be due to the, like, from the server side, it can be due to the memory issue on the box, it can be your internet problem, like there are so many things involved in this that we can specifically say that what's the like main reason for this. So here are some tips which you can do with the app just by changing some settings you can reduce these issues. So here are some practices to which you can reduce it. So I'm just gonna open my SGB app and in the menu go to settings and in the oh sorry in the common settings go to network settings it would be all the way down okay in the network settings just uncheck this, this box by unchecking this you just free up 20 mb of your ram how cool is that you just free 20 mb in your ram and it's not like if you have like enough ram if you have like a good box with like gb ram in gbs it's it's not like the good thing it won't have any effect but people with like uh, old boxes with low memory boxes can like help themselves by unchecking this box so here what? another thing they can do is like go to menu and in the media player choose ijk so this is the default player and like it uses the like low bandwidth and the, it's like perfect for streaming the uh, IPTV services. So these were the two from the STB emulator app. Uh, so there are few from the settings in the IPTV. Okay, if you go to settings here. You can go to localization and you have to change the wherever you are located it can it can be helpful so yeah just change it to the city and country you are in and it will help it and another thing is you go to advanced settings and the buffer size so default size would be zero just change it to the 15 so it will preload the 15 seconds so you won't face the buffering issue it will use your web so like it may affect like, your low box boxes if you have like an old box uh, just keep it low because it's gonna use some memory and your box won't handle it your app might crash so yeah just try to if you have a good box I have Formula Z7 so it's like a great box and I just uh, change it to 15 so i'm okay with it so, but it, i know it will help me like uh, reducing the buffering issue like it's it's really great feature in the app so i just click ok and if you change this setting you will have to reboot your uh, box so i if i go back and i mean i didn't save it because i i already had this settings so if you have 15 and you click OK, it will give you a screen to reboot. Just click reboot and the settings will change. Your box will reboot. Uh, actually, in the Android, it, it would be the app that will reboot. So if you are on the back box, your box will reboot. So yeah, just change it and go exit the app and open it again to let all the changes take effect yeah so all changes to, will take effect and it will definitely improve your speed thank you so much for watching my video have a nice day